Oh yeah. Is it true that you have a, like turtles in the jars and you have mummified mummified <laughs> cat in your house? Yes, not in my house, in my studio. What, why why do you have mummified cat? I found it years ago. It was an old burnt down cinema in the east part of Berlin. Yeah, 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 yeah. And this uh, cinema was used for like in the Second World War, but then when the um, Mauer came, it was used for propaganda. Mauer is the is the wall. Yeah. And I found this cat who was basically suffocating in in the basement. So this cat was really old and was completely mummified. I didn't do anything. So oh, you didn't have to mummify it? Mummified no, 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 itself. No, no. It mummified itself for years, like for ages. But then I already observed like certain things about your your game. Like it's kind of you look. Uh, you, like effortless, uh -huh. it, 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 it doesn't seem like you make lots of effort, <laughs> but then you're very strong. It seemed like everything you did had more power than you intended. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. like, okay, now I'm gonna hit soft, but then it's like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, do you like apart from tennis, do you have it in your in your life that sometimes you like the things you do that just like come out of such a strong impact more than you intend? If I do my art, I'm going to the point. I really want to dig into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and I put a lot of like effort in it. Even maybe it looks like so, so easy and so light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you also do poetry and film, no? Yeah. Was your was your poetry serious? It was pretty dark and um, dark. Yeah, really like um, into romanticism. Oh, really? Yeah. You're obviously German, but then like you're always, you're always kind of like aware of your of your heritage. I don't um, identify myself as much as a German because I was always an outcast. I was always an outsider, so I never was like a proper German. Oh really? Yeah. Because look at me. I was like totally even because where I grew up was a rural. Um, Village. All oh, right. And um, the people speak um, a heavy dialect, okay. really heavy. So as a German, you even don't understand it. And I, I can speak this dialect. And every time when I spoke in this dialect, people were like so confused because of how I looked like, and then also of my dialect and stuff like that. And would you, would you do it? Would you adopt somebody from a different culture and take them and take them into a different culture? Would you take this challenge? I don't know. Maybe because you were in the situation, you would be actually better. I know how difficult it is. And I know how many of like us struggle with this identity. Even when you get older, and then you know, like you have a huge um, backpack on yeah, your yeah. back, and it's stuff but you're actually never able to look into it yeah so you will oh, 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 oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> when, did you, when did you enjoy the game why mm -hmm. um because it's, it's challenging i was about to ask you what challenge did you set yourself uh, in the um, fish project where we are now i think uh, we already uh, reached this peak of like the next extinction, but we are not really um, conscious about. What the last um, extinction uh, caused was the asteroid, who like came and then everything died, um, the dinosaurs, the ammonites and everything, except like the smallest particle in the sea, from then um, new um, species um, develop. And now we are actually the asteroid. So the humans became uh, a major part of uh, like of destroying nature but nature is also very strong so I'm um, nature can adapt also the fishes in the sea they adapt to um, the environment you know there's like this big um, Pacific gar um, garbage patch which is like a new island and there's like this micro um, 
elements, uh, um, plastic elements, which come from the sea and they um, start to make new um, geological um, uh, like fragments. There's like plastic stones now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And things like that. But um, this is like my, my big challenge to to make this visible, to make something visible which uh, we are all conscious about, but we, we are not um, are not conscious about, but where we are living in now, but to make it um, to make these things um, visible. Yeah. The other really interesting part is that we are so self-concentrated on ourselves that um, that we can actually learn from the fishes. So because they have like this sexuality diversity, which we even can't imagine that this is really happening. There's like a, a worm who has like a penis dispenser, so he. Uh, gives the penises up, regrows it, uh, gives it up, regrows it, and things like that. There's like another species of like this uh, cellophot who like um, shoots his penis out to um, uh, to fertilize another female, and there are like uh, so many things going on. What's the art project? It's <laughs> it's. Uh, it's called Siggy and the Starfish, about sexuality in the sea.